Hey friends, today I am hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. Recently, the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor reopened, so I wanted to come out and get some ice cream. And then also, I wanted to try something I probably should have tried a long time ago, the Main Street Burger. I don't know why I've never tried it. Doesn't that sound amazing? So we're gonna ride some rides, eat some food, and then eat some ice cream, and just have a wonderful Magic Kingdom day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I can really smell the waffles cooking up in there and I am so excited to get an ice cream with a waffle cone. It is so amazing. And first we're going to ride some rides, maybe eat first, and then ride rides and then dessert, then the ice cream. That's when we get to the good stuff. Looks like there might be a little bit of rain today. Clouds are a little bit dark, but so far it's dry and the temperature's not that bad out right now. It's actually a really comfortable day at the Magic Kingdom. It's okay if it rains though, because it's just so nice out. I just love being here. Look at that castle. Oh, so many happy people are just having a great time. I just realized it's July 11th, and that's my sister's birthday. So happy birthday, Bon Bon. I'm so excited. She's gonna be coming down soon, and we're gonna have family fun at Disney World. I am pumped for that. Not too long, in a couple weeks actually. So I think I'm gonna get myself a birthday button to help you celebrate her birthday. There we go, we got ourselves a little button, and we're gonna write happy birthday to Bonnie. B-O-N-N-I-E. I tried to do it really cool. <laughs> I did good! Yeah! yeah. That's great. Much there we go, and I'm gonna wear it for her all day long today. Because she can't be here for her birthday, but soon she'll be down here, like I said. There we go! Perfect! Isn't that amazing? You can grab buttons basically at any merchandise location, so I stopped in here. But also, look at the new Casey's Corner dress. That's really awesome. Also, some Dalmatian dresses right here. I mean, if I was a girl, I'd probably want a Dalmatian dress. Now that I got my birthday button, I think it's time we head on over to the plaza so I can get the Main Street Burger. I am so excited for this. Oh, look at this, and here comes Cinderella. <laughs> Oh, got a couple more coming down now, too. I love it when you get to catch the rainy day parade, but it's not raining. So it must have rained a little bit earlier ago, and the rainy day parade was already set in motion. So we got to catch and see all the Main Street vehicles and the princesses. That's amazing, isn't it? And here we are, the Plaza Restaurant, home of the Main Street Burger. Normally, anytime I ever come to the Plaza, I always get the meatloaf because I love meatloaf. But today, I'm gonna kind of get out of my comfort zone and I'm gonna try the Main Street Burger because, like I said, it's the Main Street Burger. I don't know why I haven't tried this before. Here is a look at the menu. We've got chili, a BLT salad, crab cakes, soup of the day, plaza loaded french fries, and then down below we got the Main Street Burger. That's what I'm talking about. A burger patty topped with cheddar cheese, house made bacon, lettuce tomato, a sunny side up egg, beer battered onion rings, and a roasted poblano mayonnaise served on a flour dusted Kaiser bun. Doesn't that sound absolutely amazing? Usually I always go all in on the meatloaf, but Today, it's all about the burger. Now that we got our table, time to get ourselves something to drink. It might be a little bit loud in here. It's a very small dining room. Like the plaza is like, I think the tiniest Disney restaurant I've ever seen. Honestly, it is so tiny in here. Look at how small the dining room is. I mean, maybe 40 tables at tops. Since they actually have beer here, I think I'm gonna get myself a good old Bud Light. A Bud Light, a burger, and a banana split. That's the plan. Holy moly. I don't know if they do banana splits over at the plaza. I know they do in here, but oh boy, that would, that would be amazing. That's the stuff right there. <laughs> this looks so refreshing. I know it's just Bud Light, but I don't know. It's just, oh. So good. <laughs> I've already placed my order for my Main Street Burger, and my waitress actually asked me if I wanted to try the Impossible Chili. Look at this. This is meatless chili, and she said that people have sent this back thinking that there is meat in there, so I'm excited to try it. That is 
good. That tastes better than regular chili, actually, because it's got like, I don't know, it's got kind of like a little spice to it, but a sweet, a sweet chili. Wow. Oh, I want to save some of this for my french fries, I think. This is really, really good. Holy moly. It's definitely a little bit spicy. Kind of reminds me of salsa and chili together. But definitely be warned, it is a little bit spicy. So, just in case, you know? And here it is. The Main Street Burger. Look at it, it looks so good. And these french fries look phenomenal. Now, I did ask for the poblano mayonnaise to be on the side because I hear it is a little spicy, so I wanted to put it on the side just in case. And you can see we got everything else there. The onion ring looks amazing. The bacon, the sunny up egg. This is gonna be so good. I think I'm just gonna dive right on in. This burger, this bun itself looks so good. Like you need a good bun when it comes to burgers because it's gotta hold everything together. So I'm gonna try to, try to take it in one bite. Like, you know what I mean? But it's gonna be kind of, oh my lord, this is massive. Look at that. Holy moly. I don't know if I can get a little bit in every single bite. I'm gonna try though. I don't wanna break the egg yet. Okay, I'm gonna slide this over a little bit. Gotta rearrange everything here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> That is so amazing. Look at that. Oh, much too good. I mean, that is a big burger. And the bun is holding together just the way I love it. I feel like I can get away with putting a little bit of the uh, chili on there as well. So I'm gonna add a little chili on top of this already impressive burger because don't forget it has all the words on it. It's got onion rings, bacon, eggs, and now I'm adding chili to it. <laughs> this might be the way. And now to make chili fries. Look at that. That's the way. <laughs> Seriously, add a little chili to the fries, it is spectacular. Much too good, honestly. That was a good, delicious burger because it had everything on it. It had like the works, literally. I'm definitely glad I came and got it. I would get it again, but I think I like the meatloaf the best here. I love the meatloaf at the plaza. Now it's time to head back out in the park. I would stick around and get dessert, but we're gonna go to the plaza and get ice cream later. Technically, you can get ice cream here and that's from the plaza, but I want the whole experience of going in the plaza and just remembering how it was, you know what I mean? Looks like the gray skies are slowly disappearing. So that means we might miss the rain completely. That would be amazing. I'd be so happy to have a dry Magic Kingdom day. It's been over a month. Actually, every time I've come to Magic Kingdom so far, rain. Now I want to go ride some rides and then we're gonna have ice cream. Ice cream at the end of the video. But I'm thinking like of a ride that I haven't ridden in a while and Splash Mountain came to mind. I haven't been on it probably at least in a couple of months. I don't like to get wet normally, so that's why I don't like to ride it. But today, I don't know, I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like it might be a Splash Mountain kind of day. We'll make our way right through Liberty Square over to Frontierland and check the wait time for uh, Splash Mountain. If not, I would like to do Big Thunder Mountain while I'm over there too. Who knows, maybe both. I love walking through Liberty Square. Recently for 4th of July, I came here and I had dinner at Liberty Tree Tavern and did all the activities over here and it was so fun. As you're making your way into Liberty Square, there's a big plaque that says beyond this gateway lies a humble village built on hope and courage. How inspirational is that? I probably should have took a look at the wait times. Uh, Fourth of July weekend is basically over now. It's July 11th, so I feel like a lot of people that were down here for the Fourth of July probably went home, and hopefully the crowds went with them. Like, uh, I mean, it hasn't been that busy compared to Fourth of July's in the past, but it was pretty busy for a couple of weeks there. I'm happy to see the crowds back because it kind of gives you like a sense of normalcy, but. Without the fast pass, I feel like the lines have been extremely long. The other day, Slinky Dog Dash was 95 minutes. 95 minutes! Another amazing thing that actually makes you feel like a little normalcy is 
tons of red, earning my ear tags on cast members all over the place. College program is back in effect, and we're just getting a lot more people in the parks and a lot more cast members. That's what we need. Looks like we're coming up on the uh, end of the line for Big Thunder Mountain. It says 35 minutes, but I feel like that's a little bit longer than 35 minutes, right? I mean, that is... That's a that's a that's a long line. Holy moly! Uh, don't forget, they're no longer like socially distancing. Like they're filling up the cars all the way, or the trains in this case. So like the lines being long like this. Before we used to look at them and think no big deal, but that's because they were seating every other row, we're giving everyone their own ride vehicles. This is a big difference. Look at that. I'm afraid to see what Splash Mountain is like at the moment, but holy moly. Splash Mountain is 85 minutes. 85 minutes! Wow, I haven't seen it that long in forever. The line is going farther back than Big Thunder Mountain. I mean, this is, this is intense. Well, I said I wanted to ride one of these rides, so I guess we might as well hop in line. I really do feel like Big Thunder Mountain is more than 35 minutes, so either way, I think it's going to be a long wait. So we're just gonna hop in Splash Mountain, it looks like. Don't think we've got much long to go. Halfway down, at least we get to look at all the wanted signs. Definitely over an hour. Actually, I just really gave up on time. Like, I was just like, well, I'm here. Oh boy, here we go. I got the middle row. I think that's the safe row. <laughs> There's nobody behind me though, so I might get the wettest. Keep your hands and arms inside at all times. Oh, thank God the water's not back on. Usually they have water cannons here that always get you wet. So we lucked out, they're not spraying us today. Isn't the briar patch so beautiful though? I kind of just realized, so majestic looking. Here comes someone taking that big plunge. Do you hear him? Look at all the people down there. That's where the line started, right back there. I think I got a little wet. I used the hat to block the camera to make it safe and uh, you know, sacrifice myself. Now I'm soaking wet. Hi friends! 
<laughs> That's awesome. Oh, and how nice I got the waterfall off too. So you can actually, this is the best time to ride Splash Mountain. The only time you're worried about getting wet probably would be uh, going down the big plummet. But like, you're not gonna get wet here or by the cannons. So very lucky, look at the difference. Like, can you see like where the water would be running? Usually this is a big waterfall right here, but you can tell where it's at. Oh, look at the hair ties, Expedition Everest. we rode I didn't get that wet just a little bit mainly just like the top half right here uh, the hat covered my uh, camera so that ended up getting wet took the blunt of the force of the water but it was so much fun I love Splash Mountain see this is one thing though that I hate about riding rides or long lines when you get off there's no more line can can you believe it like honestly I started waiting all the way up here on the other side of the bridge and then as soon as I get off nothing like, it's actually just queuing up right inside Splash Mountain. I guess you can't win them all, though. Big Thunder Mountain, still a very long line. In fact, it is a shorter line, but with a longer wait. Before, it was over the bridge and was 35 minutes. Now, it looks like it's 40 minutes. So, maybe we'll wait. I think we we'll might give it a go. It's a good way to dry off. Oh, boy. It is super hot in the queue for Big Thunder Mountain. And now we're coming up on the worst spot of all. Oh, the plexiglass is gone. Wow. I feel this is amazing. Okay, this is cool. Breaking the law, breaking the law. No. <laughs> Here it comes. Whoa. <laughs> Best remove them. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> amazing i love big thunder mountain it's such a fun ride it really gets you all hyped up and ready to go i didn't cool off much i'm still pretty hot and i'm still wet from splash mountain but man i love like i said i love big thunder mountain and check it out chip and dale in their frontier outfits saying hi to guests <laughs> hey friends Oh, and I just realized I'm in Magic Kingdom, so we can head over to Memento More and see if they got the Haunted Mansion fedora. I'm excited! Just crossing the street here. 
Go ahead, go about your business now. Take that popcorn with you. Got one right here too. You can get that one as well if you'd like. Or, yep, there you go, that's the way. And there it is, Memento More. I hope they have my hat. I mean, this is the only place I think that would sell it. I checked Disney Springs and they didn't have it or Epcot, so it's gotta be here. Or the Emporium, maybe. Holy moly, they're sold out. Sold out, I say. We can still check the Emporium on the way out though, because they might have it there. But man, I should have gotten over here quicker. Now I think I'll make my way back to the plaza and I officially can say I think it is ice cream time. We're gonna get ice cream and then we're gonna check to see if the Main Street Emporium actually has the hat or my PG Mr. Mara water bottle. I haven't gotten either of them. And here we are. It doesn't look like there's a long line either. I think we'll hop right on in. Ice cream this way? Ice cream this way. Thank you. <laughs> It smells so amazing standing here. I can feel, I can smell all that waffle cone, right? Smell the waffle cone. <laughs> and here is a look at the menu. You can get the Plaza ice cream sundae, hot fudge, whipped cream, cherry, served in a freshly made waffle bowl with your choice of two scoops of ice cream. Then you get just a double scoop ice cream cone and a brownie sundae. And then I think they have some more that's not listed in here, probably on the inside. Oh yeah, it looks like they have the chocolate chip cookie sandwich along with the ice cream floats that weren't on the menu out there. So I'm definitely, I don't know what I'm gonna get. I don't know what I'm gonna get, holy moly. And I also can see why it took so long for the Plaza Ice Cream Shop to open up. It is very tight corridors in here. Even back there for the workers and the cast members, they actually have like really tight spaces to prepare the ice cream and the waffles. And the same thing with Casey's. And how funny is this? I ran into my friend who has the same tattoo as I am. Two days in a row, this is amazing. What are the chances? <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the Plaza ice cream sundae. I'm gonna get just the, what I wanted, you know? And I think I'm gonna get cookies and cream, double cookies and cream, because you pick two ice cream flavors. And uh, yeah, I think that's it, just the way it is. Look at that. Look at all the good ice cream goodness. And the brownies. Hot and fresh. Perfection. Look at that. Thank you. <laughs> oh boy. I think I'm just going to eat my ice cream right here on Main Street. Look at the castle, listen to the music, and people watch. That's a good way to do it. I am so excited for this. It's been a while, like I said. I'm gonna try to get a little waffle in there too, because I gotta get a waffle in the first bite. Look at that. Perfect, right? So good. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, this is good. This is the stuff. <laughs> It definitely melts quick though, so you have to eat it pretty fast. I also love as it melts, the waffle gets a little bit softer and soggier, and that's how I like it. Mm. Okay, now that we've had our ice cream, I think we'll stop in the Emporium and see if we can get our hat. Happy birthday. Thank you, it's my sister's. <laughs> Holy moly. Looks like there's only two left. <laughs> Fancy, there it is. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Look at that, it's perfect. Well, there you have it. Haunted Mansion Fedora okay. obtained. Yeah. I am so happy. <laughs> I was like, oh, there it is. And there was only two on the shelf. So I'm lucky I grabbed the one that I did. And wow, I guess that's gonna do it for me today. What an amazing day. I had so much fun. We got to hang out and ride Splash Mountain and Big Thunder Mountain. The Plaza, the Main Street Burger was phenomenal. And then of course, ice cream at the end of the night. And a new hat. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.